English Home Language and English First Edition Language, the narrative text for Grade 6 and 7. Welcome Grade 6 and 7 learners. Welcome to Grade 6 and 7 English Home Language and English First Edition Language. Today we will look at writing a narrative essay. This video is relevant for all Grade 6 and 7. Narrative writing. When you're going to write a narrative essay, Practice really makes perfect. Practice is the act of rehearsing something over and over, again and again, for the purpose of improving or mastering it. Assessment for Term 1, Task 3. On the 1st of February 2021, we will start with formal assessments for Term 1. Grade 6 and 7 will be writing a narrative essay on the 19th of February 2021. In your home language, 26 February 2021 for English first additional language. The only difference between the grades is the length of the essay. Assessment for English home language is essay, write a narrative essay, task 3. On the following slides, you will find information on how to write a narrative and what you need to do to prepare for writing a narrative essay. Also look at the rubric at the end of the last page of this slide. The rubric is the tool that I, as your teacher, will use to assist you on your creative writing. If you feel you are well prepared, write a story using the prompts which I will give to you later on in this video, and then read your story to your family members and ask them for feedback. Extra activity for fun. Complete the activity at the back to practice writing a narrative. You should practice more than one narrative essay. Narrative text, an overview. Narrative texts tell a story which entertains the reader or listener. Narrative texts usually follow a clear and distinct structure. Some of the languages used in narrative writing. There are many types of narrative texts, such as picture books, short stories, novels, and of course, traditional tales. Descriptive language in narrative text. In the narrative text structure, you need to look at the following. First, you start with the orientation. This is the beginning of the story, in which the setting, the characters, and the plot are introduced. After that follows the complication. This is a problem, a challenge, or conflict that the main characters need to solve. Series of events. These are the events that occur as the main characters try to resolve the problem. In the resolution, this is the solution to the problem which may lead to a happy or unhappy conclusion for the main characters. Using nouns, adjectives, verbs and adverbs. Descriptive language and narrative texts. First you can use nouns. A noun is a person, place or thing. You could use adjectives as well. An adjective describes the noun. Verbs will be used. A verb is an action or doing word. And then of course you might use adverbs. An adverb describes the verb. Parents or caregiver, help here please. Descriptive language and activity. Work with a part that to identify an adverbial phrase and an active adjectival phrase in the descriptions below. The strong and courageous Jack climbed with all of his strength. The giant with a huge voice shouted down the beanstalk. The tall and sturdy beanstalk shook from side to side. Developing narrative writing skills. And this is your activity. Choose one of the following topics. 1. The Black Cat. 2. If I Could. 3. One Day I Will. 4. Fairies. 5. A Surprise Fall. Step 1. Complete your narrative structure. Look at the next slide to see how many words you must have in your essay according to your grade. Step 2. 
Describe the language you will use in a narrative essay. Step three, make a brain chart of your story. Step four, write a rough draft. After your rough draft, compare it with your narrative structure. If you follow the narrative structure, check for spelling errors, pass the correct number of words according to your grade, make corrections. Step five, write your final narrative essay. Ask your parents or caregiver to read your narrative essay and ask them for feedback. You can also practice using your own topics. Describing nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. Descriptive language in narrative texts. We can use some of the following. Nouns. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Adjectives. An adjective describes the noun. Verbs. A verb is an action or doing word. Adverbs. is An adverb describes the verb. Descriptive language in narrative text. The narrative text structure looks as follows. Orientation. This is the beginning of the story in which the setting, the characters and the plot are introduced. Complication. This is a problem, challenge or conflict that the main characters need to solve. Series of events. These are the events that occur as the main characters try to resolve the problem. Then, finally, your resolution. This is the solution to the problem which may lead to a happy or unhappy conclusion for the main characters. Grade sixes, you will need to write about 140 to 150 words in total. You will write four to six paragraphs, um, 80 to 100 words per paragraph, which means about eight to 10 sentences per paragraph. Remember, your total need to be four to six paragraphs. So please make sure you know where you are going with your story and plan ahead. Grade seven, you are going to write more or less four to six paragraphs of eight to ten sentences per paragraph. In total, you need to write 150 to 200 words. Make sure you check your rough book and count your words so that you know where you are going. Good luck. We sent your parents the appropriate rubric via WhatsApp. Please study it carefully. Remember, rubrics can look different every time. Always make sure you have the correct rubric for oral or written work for all formal assessments. The rubric above is the rubric that your teacher will use for your narrative essay for Term 1 on 19 February 2021. Well done, everybody. Let's hope some of you become a famous author one day.